Uh, Fáil Sir Roth, um, thanks for coming along to the Sinn Féin offices here in uh, the end of Main Street, Starker Bridge Street in Ballon Snow today. Um, I suppose for myself it's, it's an honour to be elected as uh, the Cahir of the Ballon Snow in the Civil District uh, recently. Um, I can hear it now for the year ahead and um, it was a unanimous decision by the members so I'm thankful for, to them for their support for that. I suppose it'll be a busy year ahead with uh, hopefully COVID restrictions uh, lifting to a significant degree. Um, whether we'll have a fair or not, it's, it's uh, just not fully known just yet. Um, hopefully things will open up fully in, 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 the, in the course of time and they will be able to get out to meet the different communities. There's a lot of work ahead with uh, a new area engineer uh, just been announced this week for the municipal district. That's a replacement for a vacancy that uh, has arisen. So we're conscious of staffing to get all those positions filled, uh, particularly uh, frontline positions, uh, which uh, we're at a deficit here in the Banastow municipal district since the abolition of the, the Banastow Town Council. Um, we're down a significant amount of staff. So that's one priority. As well, uh, just over here to my left, the Banastow Relief Board uh, that was allied to the uh, the town enhancement uh, project which is completed now and well done to particularly the council staff who at the tail end done all the tidying up of the works and with the, um, with the scheme for the painting scheme and the, the for the shop front scheme the town is looking really well now so it's, it's open for for people to come to town uh, with restrictions but um, we welcome people back into for, to support the businesses in, in balance store and, and all the, the um, the retail outlets and businesses throughout our municipal district, whether it's Montpellier or Ballygare um, and all the, the villages in between. So there's a lot of work for us to do. As I say, the relief road will be a, a priority for me to try and get that back up on the agenda. I know other colleagues have gone down and looked at the facility along with some uh, Aractus members subsequent to my uh, announcing that we should prioritise that at my election uh, last week. So uh, again, I suppose as well, Banastow is, is a market town and it serves the, the rural hinterland. Uh, right throughout, I suppose we have the map uh, just out the road here in Claymore, but we also have the map from Montpellier. I suppose Banastow constituency is a big rural constituency, and agriculture plays a key part in our economic um, development as well. And uh, to support initiatives like that, and I know Chris McManus, our MEP, um, has been active in uh, trying to ensure that those uh, small and medium producers in agriculture are uh, best served through the cap negotiations so that would be uh, one thing that i'd be feeding back towards him in relation to that so the farming is, is, is a big a big issue uh, locally here particularly for the small and medium producers that we aim to support along the way i suppose in the year ahead you know um when the year is over we, we hope to have our new bus stops up um, here on the um, Shlina Howland in Ballastore Town. Hopefully uh, the roads, three years roads programme will be able to include more roads than it did previously. There's roads out there that haven't got uh, look in places like Eglish and, and um, places in Front Truscott that um, are maybe 30 years waiting for the road to be done. We'll be trying to prioritise those ones that are in the worst state scenario and, and, and get those across the line on the three years programme. So a lot of work to do in the year ahead and hopefully uh, it will be uh, a positive one and uh, thank, thanks again to everybody for their support for me throughout the year since 2004 when I was first elected as a Sinn Féin elected representative for this constituency. Um, just at the, at, the, at the meeting the last day when, when uh, I was elected got here, I outlined a number of priorities I suppose here in Ballinasloe we have the uh, inner relief road that goes from Main Street all along by the, the River Suck which is a, a fantastic community come right out on Sarsfield Road and will hopefully facilitate the new school and uh, recreation and, and traffic planning. Um, so it's to ensure that we, we try and ensure that that, that develops uh, and we move forward with that as a, a really beneficial project to Banastow Town. I suppose we have our fire stations in Banastow and Montpellier to ensure that they are given the full facilities um, and uh, staffing levels again that are required for safety in, in, in our region. We have obviously the budget has been uh, very much underfunded in Galway County Council over the last 10 years, so it's to create a focus in relation to improving that and um, engaging with our Rockless members. I know my colleague Claire Coran has been active that, in that from, from the start of her election and it's to keep a focus in relation to that. We see it locally, um, frontline staff, we have no gardener here in Banaslow, so it's to in, in, in bring back the staffing levels to a proper complement so we can deliver services, whether that's in footpaths and, and roads and all those services the council deliver, um, particularly in, in winter and maintenance. Housing is another big issue, and I suppose um, housing maintenance, um, you know, there's a, a, big, a big effort needs to be put in there to ensure that we can uh, deliver for, for our tenants who are responsible uh, in local authority housing. 
and housing is a big issue in general and to ensure that there's a, a focus on that. There's a lot of work to, to do right across our municipal district. As, as, as I said, roads is a big issue um, and the budget is related to that. So we'll be keeping the focus there on that. And um, I suppose the village renewal schemes as well, uh, hopefully in the next uh, number of weeks, um, the finalization of the footpaths in uh, the square in uh, Haskell will go ahead, a project that I have uh, managed to advance there. So there's projects like that right throughout the municipal district. And again, we're here in the Sinn Féin office in Banaslow and we have uh, my colleague Guido here in the office and we have uh, Claire Coran, our, um, our office member here, working very hard in the constituency, and Chris McManus, our MEP, who I work hand in glove with all of those to uh, um, uh, develop the, 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 um, the Sinn Féin message and also to work hard at uh, doing representations in, in, uh, on behalf of the, the local people. So we're always available to try and uh, engage with people and support people in whatever way we can. And as I recall the municipal district the year ahead, I'd hope, hope to be able to um, engage with as many people right across the, the constituency um, and help as many people as I possibly can.